A, to all the pregnant women out there and all the women who want to get pregnant, let me tell you a good story about my pregnancy. When I took Lamaze's class, they say they show you three videos. They show you the horrible day and a half intensive labor where the woman is screaming and having all kinds of terrible labor pains. They show you the normal uh, labor of a woman who's nine hours of very uncomfortable, can't get the baby out, but she finally pushes the baby out in nine hours. And then they show you the woman who goes, uh, uh, and the baby pops out on the third push. The Lamaze teacher said, don't think about that one because it's not going to happen. Well, me, if I'm going to think about something, I'm going to think about the three pushes and the baby pops out because if something worse happens, I can handle it. But I don't want to imagine for six months that I'm going to have this horrible delivery. And so when I woke up before 15 in the morning and my water broke and my contractions were two minutes apart, I get my mother to get me to the hospital. And when I'm in the elevator, the uh, nurse says, you're not handling this very well. You're going to need medication. So when I get to the room, I calm myself down. And the Lamaze teacher said, do whatever makes you feel comfortable. So I rolled over on my side and I rocked. Like you do when you have a stomach ache. I rocked myself to soothe myself and make myself feel better. And the nurse said, I'm afraid you're going to fall off the table. You need to lay on your back. I'm like, I'm fine. You need to leave me alone. So the doctor came in and said I was five centimeters dilated and 90% um, effaced. She said it's going to be hours before I have the baby. So this was at 6 a.m. And so I sit there and close my eyes and say, okay, God, if this is a normal delivery of a baby and there are no problems, Please take the pain away because I was uncomfortable because I don't need pain to get me here. I'm in a safe place. The doctors are here. Everything is safe for me. So if there's no problems, I don't need pain to get me here. Now, if there's a problem, let me have pain so I know where the problem is. But if there's no, pain, no problem, then I need no pain. All of my discomfort went away. And so a little after seven, the nurse looks at the monitors and says, are you ready to push yet? I'm like, um, I don't know. I roll back over on my back and they look and they see the baby's head. So when the doctor comes in, first time I push, I push like a blowfish, blow my face up and I actually kick the doctor because I'm pushing from everywhere except for the right place. So my housemate said, close your eyes and think about where the baby's coming out. Push from there. Has anyone ever told you that before? God bless my housemate, because once I did that, I push, the baby's head pops out and pops back in. And then the next time I push, the baby pops out and the doctor has to catch her like it's a football. So my thing here is this, think positive. When you're nervous and afraid, everything is worse. So the, the pain and problems with delivery of a child are that you don't know what's going on. You've never done it before. You're afraid. When I was meditating and getting myself calm before um, they asked me if she was ready to be delivered, I said to the baby, I don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing. But when I push, you push. Let's make this easy for both of us. And I know that's what happened. I talked to the baby positively. I believed it was going to be a comfortable experience. I asked God if it was a normal delivery, take away the pain. All of that happened. So think positive. It doesn't have to be all that bad. Love you. Have happy, healthy babies and pain-free deliveries.